Hello everyone, Akshay here. Today we will do our task two. Uh, it's uh, task two is more about having uh, a mental exercise rather than what you will be facing in your professional experience. So here is our task two. Uh, my light should glow only and only when uh, one of the switched are, is active or pressed. So if X2 and X3, it should be sorry, X3. Uh, so only and only when any of the switch is pressed, then only my light should glow. If two switches are pressed at the same time, my light should not glow. So, so far you have learned a lot. So you can go ahead and do this program for yourself. Pause this video, uh, stress your mind and come up with a program. If you're not getting it, do follow me now. So we'll start typing the program and we'll do the program first in a ladder diagram. We will go up as per the sequence of the popularity of the language amongst the industries. So let's go into section, say, tasks 2, LD, ladder diagram. And we can select a language and say apply. As of now, you have got everything, how to do, how to go into the program editor window, how to write in the program. The only doubt remains is, what's the program? Uh, as I have told you, you should stress your mind uh, and eventually pause the video. Uh, and I will tell you and you'll find it how silly it was, how the answer was so easy. So let's go ahead if you are not figured it by this time. We will require a normally open contact and we will name it as x1 apply. It will prompt to create the variable like always. Then we will use a normally close contact and we will name it x2 and say apply. Say yes. And again a normally close contact name it x3 as of now we will just write the program and we will test it and discuss the underlying logic when we are simulating the project so here is my light bulb light so um, now I have just wrote a one, I have just uh, have satisfied just one condition. There are probably three conditions. So here it will be called as X1, say apply. And if you want to go for a shortcut, just say it control C, come in here, control V, and you can simply copy it and x2 just to reduce your work a bit mm -hmm. and I will connect and it does usually happens when you're trying to make the connection the connection does happen somewhere else doesn't matter as I told you pick it up and place it in here so my second Possible condition is done now. What about my third condition? You can guess it. Uh, I'm using a shortcut. Say Control C and say Control V. And this should be a normally close contact. So and it should be X2. So what I will do is select it. Go up in here. Just drop it and say yes. So I have transferred a normally open contact to normally close contact again if I want. Here I should have a normally open contact, so highlight it, control, select, that's it. No need for a con control select, just go up in here, place, that's it. Highlight it, select, that's it. That's how you place it. So my, all the po possible conditions are covered in here. When my X1 button is pressed and as I said, only and only when one button is pressed, then only my light should glow. So we'll go ahead and test the program and discuss the logic. So 
as you all know how to test a program so I won't be covering it right now so we should run the program now so you have seen uh, let's see we have three buttons they are the same so what if I energize x1 or I'm pressing x1 then my light should glow and what if I'm at the same time I'm pressing x2 whoa so you have seen my purpose is served so this was the program which we needed and you should try it yourself and you will get to know how easy it was and stay tuned and have fun learning thanks for listening